The recent police killing of a Patterson man is shedding light on other gaps and issues within the city's police department, igniting calls from activists and even elected officials who represent the area for a federal investigation into Patterson's law enforcement, putting them at odds with the mayor, who's been outspoken in his opposition to both federal oversight and a potential probe by the U.S. Justice Department. As Melissa Rose Cooper reports, social justice groups aren't backing down. Patterson Police Department has a, a history of patterns and practices of using unconstitutional misconduct um, against the residents of Patterson. Uh, that includes using excessive force. Last week, the New Jersey Institute for Social Justice sent a letter to the Department of Justice requesting they look into the misconduct of the Patterson Police Department. Yannick Wood, who serves as the Institute's Criminal Justice Reform Program Director, believes a federal investigation will lead to the police taking accountability. The community needs to feel like they are empowered to have a say in what goes on with the police department. I think as it is right now, the police department is its own entity. Calls for the Justice Department to get involved, also drawing support from state legislators, especially after the death of Najee C. Brooks earlier this month, following a four hours plus standoff with police. I think uh, looking at a federal monitor and considering all options that are available to us is a prudent decision uh, that we should not gloss over um, because of financial implications, but should really uh, take a hard look at all the options available to us for safe uh, policing, safe community engagement, especially for persons suffering from um, an emotional uh, disturbance in the community or, or mental illness. According to an NJ Spotlight News analysis of the state attorney general's use of force database, 55% of incidents involving police have used force in Patterson between October 2020 and February of this year were against black individuals. That's compared to 45% statewide. The analysis also reveals 17% of police use of force cases in Patterson were against Latinos versus 9% across the state. Since 2019, uh, 46 police related uh, shootings that uh, related in killings in New Jersey and eight are in Patterson. Uh, that uh, number is, is something that is concerning. And while Patterson Mayor Andre Saya acknowledges there have been issues with misconduct in the police department, he's against the federal investigation, saying his administration has taken action by putting various reform measures in place, even firing an officer for using excessive force. The mayor reaffirms he's committed to improving relations with the community, saying in a statement, I appointed a new police chief who will continue to implement reforms and changes within the department, including immediately increasing field officer training hours from four to eight weeks for new officers, as well as launching a program of pairing police officers with mental health professionals to co-respond to those in crisis. I have also been supportive of establishing a meaningful civilian complaints review board in Patterson, and have testified in the NJ legislature to enact the laws necessary to give such a CCRB life. The mayor has to get on board to understand where the statistics are when it comes to African Americans and Latinos, from De Jesus to Khalif Cooper, you know, being shot un unarmed and him speaking out in support of the police. That's concerning. U.S. Attorney Philip Selinger says he can't comment on the status of a federal investigation into Patterson police at this time, telling Brianna Venosi all allegations are taken seriously. Meanwhile, social advocates are hopeful changes will be made, creating more trust between the community and police. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.